Hi, Rich Powell from ClearPath. Today, we wanted to share a bit about a technology we've been tracking closely. Once it is deployed at commercial scale, it will change everything about the way clean energy is produced in the United States and around the world. The technology is called NetPower, and it cleanly uses fossil fuel to generate electricity and capture all of its carbon, so it operates with zero emissions. To understand why net power is so exciting, you first have to understand how a normal gas power plant works and how traditionally we've done stuff to those plants to take out all of the carbon dioxide. First, a little about normal gas power generation. It all starts with a combustor, where you combine natural gas with air, light it on fire, and produce a bunch of hot gas. With a lot of water, a heat exchanger generates steam, which turns the turbine generates electricity, and goes out onto the grid to our cities and millions of our own homes. You then have all that exhaust to deal with. It has to go through scrubbers, get rid of all the traditional pollutants, and then a bunch of CO2 and air is left at the end. If you care about that CO2 and capturing it, you have to install a bunch of other new gear. You'll need a scrubber and a compressor to crush it all down into a pipeline and send it to somewhere where it can be used or where it can be safely and permanently stored. That CO2 scrubber and additional gear is expensive, and it takes much of the electricity from the turbine to run the whole system. NetPower's technology is much simpler. Instead of burning gas with air, it is burned with pure oxygen. This is more efficient and doesn't produce other pollutants that are bad for the environment, only CO2 and water. So the ultra-hot CO2 goes out, that's what turns the turbine, not steam, and out of the turbine, a lot of that CO2 is actually recycled back into the combustor. A little bit of CO2 is left over, but it's already pure and at very high pressure, so it's pipeline ready. If you're keeping track, that's zero carbon emissions, zero air pollutants, and zero water required. Now, it does require a lot of pure oxygen, so one piece of equipment called an air separation unit is needed. That requires using some electricity but overall so much simpler than a traditional power plant. And because of that, the whole thing may only cost about as much as an existing gas plant to set up and run. And that would mean we'd have all the benefits of the gas plant, low cost, high flexibility, availability, and dispatchability. In an exciting development at the end of 2021, the net power test facility in Laporte, Texas, synchronized with the grid, a major milestone toward delivering emissions-free electricity to homes and businesses for the first time ever with this type of technology. The company is now focusing on commercialization and global deployment, recently teaming up with energy technology giant Baker Hughes to design and manufacture critical turbo machinery for net power plants. If you're not an engineer, yes, turbo machinery basically means really efficient and really reliable. And the exciting part, the first commercial scale net power plant could be powering the grid as early as 2026. This technology could change everything about the way we generate clean energy in the United States. Thanks for listening.